Hi and Assalamualaikum to everyone. My name is Ali Imran bin Rozi Syam. I from BTW student and my number is TF1016. Okay, uh, like we studied, uh, today I want to present to you guys about our business plan and my position in this company as a general manager. And we will go to the next slide. Okay, introduction, introduction about our company. NTA.3 Enterprise was a business about uh, we are selling used items. We can make a simple work as a recycled item, but uh, more to clothing, pen, and I guess uh, why the first word I used to be the 98 because 98 was meaning by my born year. I was born in 5 May 1998. Mm. And the second and the third point is fifth. Uh, if you guys uh, go to overseas, as example, at the US, United States of America, uh, they call the shop that sells used item as a thrift shop but in Malaysia we as we know it is called as a bundle and the four point uh, this business was about how we appreciate of the used item or they call vintage why they call this item of vintage because this all clothing or the all the other things is as a simple way as a simple word we can or we can call it as a, a dead stock item why because this item they do not reproduce or uh, produce a, a new brand or a new shirt or the new uh, clothing. Uh, next, this is about our business vision and mission for our company. Uh, our first mission is we strive to be global leader in a fashion night, a fashion artwear uh, or streetwear by empowering innovation and design to provide total customer certification. And our second vision is we strive to be caring and well managed organization. Organization for our business partners, customer, employee and responsible corporate citizen to our society. And next is our mission. Our mission is we want to innovate, to lead, to exchange, to provide uh, the best value products and services to global customers out there. And our second mission is uh, to make a difference uh, through our branding to stay ahead and a fashion trip market chains and the latest technology and our last mission for our company is to exchange the quality for our business partners customer and employee next slide our motto business our motto business is all but good why we give that name because the if you know the longer the year of the product is produced the more expensive it is as example uh, you can see i'm a uh, uh, vintage item here this is a champion uh, sweatshirt or champion uh, jacket uh, why it is expensive because if you can if you can see the quality the here yeah, this is a single stitch single stitch uh, for this aquare and this uh, cloth is copyright in 1997 and we after the 50 years the of the age of the something item uh, we can call it as a vintage item uh, for the next slide is the location okay. the location is 98 dot chief enterprise at b38 lorong sungai subjaya 1225150 kuantan uh, pahang this is at area sungai sub area uh, uh, mcdonald sungai sub uh, for our location uh, shop and my for my last slide is executive summary okay uh, our company native adoptive in this uh, enterprise is established as a non-for-profit corporation with the expectation to rapidly become 501 organization helping people in the community we want uh, this vintage item or used item be more expensive price out there and we want to create a community of young people to like uh, buying this uh, vintage item because it's very uh, have a good quality and it is not easier to get it because the stock is limited edition okay that's all from me uh, thank you for today assalamualaikum assalamualaikum and a very good day to dr diana kamaridin uh, today i will um, present about the administration plan uh, it will be presented by me, uh, Wanusam Sabinti Wausman, uh, metric number of TB19022. Uh, let's go. Introducing the organization of 98 Trip. 
The first one, uh, our vision. Our company's vision is to provide a channel for Malaysians to indulge themselves in fashion befitting to the value of their money. The second one, we have the mission. Our mission is to find the best quality of clothes in order to deliver the best service and also steer the Malaysian's choice in their fashion sense preference. The third one is our objective. The first one is to provide a suitable price for each of the goods. The second one is to deliver a good service in each of our customer experience. The third one is to provide vast variety of clothes according to the Malaysian's priority. Next, we have our logo and description, uh, which how the 98 thrift uh, originates. The first one we have the number 98. It originates from uh, from the 90s. The second one is the word thrift. The word thrift originates from an English word. Uh, it is defined as the quality of using money and other resources carefully. Um, the third one is the paper bag. The paper bag represents the customer's purchase from our store. Fourth one is the color black. Uh, prominently, we see at the paper bag is in black color. Despite being an intimidating black, it symbolizes the neutrality. Organization chart. I will uh, I will introduce uh, the five main uh, executive of our company. The first one is the general manager. It is helped by Ali Imran bin Rosli Shah. The second one is the financial manager. It is helped by the Muhammad by Muhammad Haikal Hafiz bin Ahmad Yusri. The second one, the, uh, the administrative manager is held by me, uh, one Sam seventy one Osman. The next one is the marketing manager is helped by Raja Hafizuddin bin Raja Muda. And the last one we have our production manager helped by Nurul Husna Izati bin Ahmad. The second one we have the remuneration. The first uh, slide here we have the schedule of the remuneration for the executive. Uh, this is the for the general manager, financial, marketing, production and administrative manager. Uh, here we have the table for the monthly salary, uh, the EPF contribution, SOXO and the total amount. Here I will uh, start talk about the compensation and the benefits to the employees. We provide four for them. The first one is the salary increment. Uh, this uh, salary increment will be given uh, after we evaluate the employees uh, based, on three, uh, based on four criteria, which is the quality of the work, uh, the good commitment, qualification and their skills, also their discipline. The second one, we have the EPF and the SOXO. Uh, these two will be uh, deducted and uh, will benefit to the employees according to the APTA and SOXO contribution schedule. The third one, we have the maternity and paternity leave. For maternity leave, the woman will have three months of maternity leave as the standard uh, maternity leave by all. Uh, for the paternity leave, we have the five days paternity leave for the father to uh, for their newborn baby. Uh, actually, the two of these, maternity and paternity leave, will uh, only apply for the first newborn and for surviving children. Okay, the last one we have the bonus. The bonus is solely based on company's income. If the company income increase, the profit increase, or it is well maintained, we will consider to give them bonus. Okay, the next one, how about the employee leave? The employee leave, we will provide four types of them. The first one, we will give 14 days annual leave, and uh, three days emergency leave, seven days for marriage leave, for the newly wets and the 14 days for medical leave. This medical leave will be uh, will have their terms and conditions and as we see how it fits, we will grant them the 14 days medical leave. Okay, here we have our office layout. Uh, for me, I would say it is a simple and yet efficient uh, working place. Okay, now we have the administration budget which is uh, cover the fixed asset, the monthly expenses and other expenses here. The total cost of our administration budget is 1700 ringgit. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Raja Hafizuddin bin Raja Muda and I'm a marketing manager of 98 Thrift and my ID number is TF19014 and today I'm presenting the marketing plan our company. Yes, our objective was the bundle is one type of shop that teenagers and students priority choice using our location to benefit the company with larger market size and target market. Create competitive market for the competitors and also ours. As the co competitive, the price of the product also cannot be overpriced and should be affordable to the targeted market. And here is my marketing. Our my marketing team and it consists of marketing manager which is me and two of my fellow partners graphic designers and total our strength for marketing team is three and my tasks and responsibility as marketing manager 
to prepare the department, report and submit to the top manager which is Ali Imran and Samsiah. Analyze strength, weakness, opportunity and threat of the company and strength and weakness of our competitors. And this we will see in the next slide. To set a strategic market, marketing plan for the company and identify new marketing team opportunities. Here also will be presented next. Promoting the products and services of the business to the customers. Also will be on the next slide. And here is our remuneration. And my monthly salary is 2,400 ringgits. EPF contribution, 288. Social contribution, 60. And number of staff, 1. It is only me. Total 2,400. And total received by a staff or at end of the month is 2,052 ringgit. And for graphic designers, monthly salary is 2,061. EPF contribution, 216. So also 45 ringgit and number of staff 2 total total salary that has been given is 4100 200 4122 and the end of the month they will receive 1800 and why it doesn't differ so much between the manager and designer since our business is still a small business and we are just start up we cannot just put higher salary to the manager and for my, my department, my graphic designer do a lot of job, a lot of job. And here is our product and services, which is conceived of net. And we are selling clothes. Uh, and name of product random, since it's lots of product we are selling. Color also random, and size we are given as to triple XL. And our target the customer is students, teenagers, adults. Raw materials, cotton pants, polo t-shirt, printed t-shirt, cotton t-shirt, denim, denim shirt, cargo pants, blue jeans, branded jeans, oversized, light zipper jacket, hooded t-shirt, suit coat, features, stylish and modern design. Design packaging, variety of design, trendy design, stylish, neatly, neatly wrapped for posting. Price for unit, render, refer to design, material and size. And for our target market, was student, teenagers and collectors. Okay. Uh, why we are saying the student and teenagers since our location for the business is at is at Sungai Sab, which is for us no there is two three actually is three actually uh, KTTM Quipsas UMP Met College Metropolitan Pahang and there is lots of student there will and for for example I was in UMP Gambang and price for me to take to repeat to the Sungai Sab, not cost not cost as much as I go to Kuantan, which is four ringgit, and to just two ringgit. So, will be perfect location to budget buyers. The competition. Competition is other firms or independent entities that offer similar services or goods in the marketplace. Knowing the competitor and what they are offering is very significant in setting up the new business. And here, uh, what I found was there's three competitors for this market, which is Queen Thrift, Bundle King, and Bun Vintage Bundle. Queen Thrift, the strength is good customer services, have main choices of products, strategic locations, Operation, the witness is operation hours are too short, website is not updated, and the product is low quality. For Bundle King, the strength is strategic location and also well-known bundle in area. However, the witness is expensive price, does not make advertising about the store, does not have a website. For Vintage Bundle, the strength is have many branches across Malaysia and long operating hours. However, the certain price is not reasonable. Staffs are not friendly and also slow services. And this is the strength for 98 Thrift Strength and Weakness. For strength, is the location is very strategic. Staffs are friendly, reasonable and affordable price. And also advertise weekly on online. The weakness, short operating hours, which is Every day, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Not well known since it's, bread, it's a brand new brand. 
this brand new store and the service is average since we don't this is wasn't the second branch or what this is the first one and we learn from the mistake and the market share is strategic management and marketing is the percentage of proportion of the total available market or market segment that's being serviced by a company it also refers to the estimated potential sales of the business after taking into consideration the market size and competition influences this is the market share before entry of 98 thrift the vintage bundle was this is the vintage bundle this is the queen thrift this is the bundle king and the vintage bundle is sales point is 28 percent the queen thrift 28 percent also the bundle king is 44 percent from the total market share before the enter of the queen thrift from the 98 thrift i'm sorry the market share after entry of the 98 thrift queen thrift it stay at 25 percent the vintage bundle stay at 25 percent the bundle king drop to 35 percent and the 98 thrift increase to 15 percent and this is our sales forecast on january the first month which is we got the 21,451 and on February the sales forecast is triple 94,253 ringgit since during this time student will spend for the before I enter the university is starting of the start of the semester and on March so height which is below the half of from the a quarter from the before since students still want to buy the clothes for their possession on mid semester on April because it's for their vacation with their friends on mid semester on, on May there's increase also for vacation in mid semester and after that since all the students have end have not enough their PTs are all gone PT PT and have all gone for their vacation and lower back to twenty one ringgit twenty one thousand 451 ringgit and on July there's increase back since there's some student that are not about anything and ready for this next semester and on August is ready for the next semester which is September which is starting of the new semester which is in the university calendar and it's the beginning of the new year which is new intake is coming in so there's increase 94 ringgit since student bought everything like clothes, suit for ready for presentation, and yeah, pants, hoodie for their come to libraries. And on October, there's decrease back since student, most of the student, which is a newbie student, and they don't know that they have to do the mid sem presentation, so they're not spending anything until they realize they need to buy the clothes for their presentation, proper clothes, and also on the December, as we, as we can see this, the old student uh, experience before the semester and this is the new, mostly because of new student coming in and the total sales forecast for the year is 700,054, 754, 750, 820 ringgit, 7, 754,820 ringgit, I'm sorry, it's a long time now speaking about the numbers. And here is my marketing strategy, which is consist of product, service, product, and service strategy, price strategy, place strategy, promotion strategy. Wait, there's two promotion here. Ignore the other one. Okay, okay, for the product service strategy, the main product are selling clothes. We sell high quality product, fair with the price. Price strategy, we use base pricing as a, one of our price strategy which is a form of total cost per unit and addition of market price. The main reason of we using this strategy is to make sure that it's affordable for target market. Therefore, the customers that bought the product will feel worth with each of their penny was spent. 
place strategy this shop is located near to the education district slash hub it's because we want to make it easier and more noticeable for our targeted market also surrounding area promotion strategy one of our promotion strategies are through the department advertisement since we are equipped with our own social media we will post our product and services to attract potential customer furthermore with sales promotion and they are being held seasonal such as beginning of timeline of university semester here marketing equipment which is the signboard in front of the store and the second is set of computers which is we need three and three table for three stuffs three chairs for three stuffs and internet internet since the graphic designer need need find their idea to design something brand new and here is our budget for a year and it consists of fixed asset for signboard it's just one time and you open 1200 we need and monthly expenses was spent was 300 since we want to pay for the municipal council license and the total cost for the signboard is 1500 ringgit and set computers is 10500 which is consist of three computers internet 149 ringgit per monthly table uh, 186 ringgit for three and chair 201 for three salaries 5652 for three of stuffs EPF 720 720 for three of the stuffs so, so 150 for three of the stuffs business card these are the expenses since we just need when is uh, all has been not enough business card or cannot such as an event we want to come to the school to appreciate the business of the bundle and there's this is a few vehicle for, since it is our expenses to to like go for licensing for like uh printing the printing the signboard brand new signboard and we need for 200 ringgit for fuel for a month grand opening 250 ringgit this is a video advertisement is also for grand opening 420 to advertise to the location and that's all from me if, uh, from the marketing department that's all thank you Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nisa Siti, and I'm from the number STM two zero zero zero. I'm going to present about production team. So this is the introduction to production team. Okay, the first one is the production involves um, production of articles from online store and textures. Okay, the coming is considered for student workers officer, which require them to have a consistent attire. Okay. There are three types of production personnel that will involve in the production line. Okay. Uh, and then uh, in the production plan also we have um, the list of raw materials and then uh, the materials and equipment that are needed uh, in the bundle production. And also um, we have some supplier who are able to supply materials and equipment that are needed. Okay. Uh, the next one is the expenses of servicing and then um, few training operators will be hired in the production line. Okay, the last one is the finishing products will be, will be transferred to customer after the quality is assured. Okay, for the objective of production plan, we have three, which is uh, the, the first one is to produce the products required by customers in the sense of offering reasonable price, durable and low in maintenance cost. Okay, the second one is to produce satisfied products for customers or even more purchase in the future. The third one is to ensure the sales achieve the desired target in the market line. Okay, we go to the 4.2 production personnel. Okay, this is the list of production personnel. Okay, we have three, which uh, which are first one is production manager. Okay, we have one person. Second one is supervisor. We have one person only, and then uh, production operators we have two. So the total staff for the production line we have four. Okay, this is the schedule of tasks with a and with and responsibilities. Okay, 
this is the schedule of tasks and responsibilities. Okay, for production manager, the task and responsibility is give instruction to supervisor. Second one, production planning for the lines. The third one, analyze line performance and plan for continuous improvement. The fourth one, decide decide on the decide on the selections of vendors for job work. The fifth one, plan for overtime work. The sixth, manage all materials, line production, machines, required maintenance, etc. The last one, ensure the quality of raw materials from suppliers and finished products. Okay, for supervisor, okay, supervisor need to ensure quality in all aspects and prepare corrective action. Second one, supervisor need to conduct internal audits prior to handing over goods to higher representative for final inspection. Okay, third one, instruct packing department for correct tagging and packing requirement. The fourth one, record the consumption or average provided by merchants and technical teams. The fifth one, ensure the storage condition of raw materials, intermediate and finished product. The last one, ensure the operator's performance. Okay. For our production operator, there are three tasks and responsibility. The first one, sorting the raw materials and finish the required amount of products. The second one, follow the instructions of other managers. The third one, ensure the products are finished on time. So, this is the schedule of remuneration. Okay, uh, the salary for production managers, supervisor, production operator. So the total for um, all the staff, all the, st the salary for all the staff is uh, 7,786. So this is the process planning for production line. Okay, uh, first one, we receive order. After we receive order, we will source the raw materials and then check the raw materials and then uh, check the production planning. Okay. After that, we sort to close our online shop and the two shop. Okay. After sorting the clothes, we pick the car uh, correct garment uh, for the custom order, and then we check the size of the garment, and then uh, we label the garment with the customer number order. Okay. And then uh, we check the quality. Okay. After the quality that we check. Uh, so we will proceed for the folding packaging and packaging. Okay, after uh, in the packaging we will put uh, the business card also, and then we fill the customer details the courier, uh, in courier websites and stamp details. And then after that, uh, the courier pick the order. Okay, what if the quality is not good? Okay, so uh, when the quality is not good, so we will redo. Uh, we will pick uh, another one. Carmen that is that have good quality, so we will proceed. Okay, until finish all of this. Okay, this is the process of flow chart. Uh, as uh, the proof, uh, the chart for activity production. So same one. Okay. Okay. Um, four point four operation lead out. So this is raw material warehouse, raw material warehouse, and then this area is for production. And then this is for uh, packaging and labeling area. And then this is uh, the finished product uh, for the, uh, the warehouse for the finished product. Okay. Um, and then, okay, 4.5 uh, material planning. So uh, we have uh, 21 material. Okay, uh, and then the total of raw material is, uh, for all of this, is 10,800. Okay, uh, this uh, and other materials that we follow in production line. Uh, the first one is plastic, carbon box, uh, leveling sticker, and business card. Okay, the, this is the amount required for 50 pieces carbons. Okay, uh, okay. 4.6 supply of raw materials. So we have uh, two supplier. Okay, the first one is under NCT, uh, and then the second one is 501 million syndrome card. Okay, um, 4.7 machine and equipment. So, these are all the machine and equipment that require uh, in the production line. Okay, 
this first one is uh, electric steam iron and it's the second one is red okay right and then um, the third one slack wall okay and then single wool okay after that a uh, tailor scissors tap measure mini queen uh, clothing rack fitting room okay um, cashier counter cashier machines uh, okay and then um, the yeah other okay uh, this is the next uh, equipment that needed for the production line okay the first one is a uh, hanger whiteboard and then chair and then banquet table okay for the total uh, machines and equipment that needed for the production line is uh, 12,161 uh, ringgit okay four point eight capacity planning okay uh, for sale for case uh, 2020 we uh, estimate that we will get uh, 755,820 ringgit. Okay, and for the same price, we have three, which is uh, which are 15 ringgit, 10 ringgit, and 8 ringgit. So we can take the average. So we get uh, 11 ringgit per unit. Okay, the average sale per month. Okay, we get RM 62,909.67 cent per month. Okay, for the production per month, uh, we take uh, the average sale per case per month over per, uh, price per unit. So we get the production per month. Uh, the estimated cat here are five thousand seven hundred and nineteen unit. Okay, uh, and then uh, for the daily production, okay, uh, we get um, the estimation that we get is one hundred and ninety one unit. Okay, uh. Hourly production, the estimated value is 224 units. Okay, uh, 4.9 number of equipment required. Okay, so uh, the raw materials, okay, we buy uh, the raw materials in um, 45 kg or 85 kg. Okay, uh, for 45 kg or 85 kg, um, we check. Uh, less or more than 100 pieces of clothes okay so uh, the estimation for one unit uh, per hour is 100 pieces so uh, 100 uh, for the number of product we get uh, 34 pieces the estimation value okay 4.10 business and operation hour so uh, for our business hour okay the time is um at 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. Uh, from Monday to Sunday. Okay, uh, for the operation hour, also the same, uh, like the business hour. Okay, the last one is production budget. Okay, for the production budget, um, we calculate from the uh, machine and equipment, raw materials, and deposit for the machine. Okay, uh, the totals for all of that is uh, 28,000. 381 million. Okay, that's all from me for operation. Thank you. Yes, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Muhammad Arifah, and I'm a financial manager of MTHF. Okay, my ID number is TF19012. Okay, basically, um, to build a company, you have uh, you sh must have a financial plan. It will make your company grow better and turn up bankrupt. Now uh, we show the administrative, administrative, marketing, and production expenditure. So this is what our company uh, expenditure in admin, marketing, and production. So basically, uh, what uh, the company should spend for the first time uh, in admin, marketing, and production. So in um, uh, administ administrative expenditure, the total company should spend is thirty-seven thousand and sixty-four ringgit Malaysia in marketing, thirteen thousand four hundred and fifty-six. Uh, and lastly, for the production, 28,211 ringgit. Okay, so what I mean, expenditure uh, is um, more money than production because, and I mean, uh, they will keep the uh, worker, uh, their salaries, and they should uh, take the EPF and so so so. So, you can see the salaries, EPF also, in initiative is 21,934. Thank you. Next is our expenditure production, purchase production, and profit production. This is what uh, will happen uh, in uh, our company in three years. So, actually, this is a budget for the whole budget and monthly budget. Okay, so 
and admin however budget that we should spend is 16,000 so uh, monthly expenses that we will give is 24,934 so every month we should be paying 24,000 to, uh, to the admin uh, admin manager so in marketing budget the total they need is 30,456 so every month we give 7,669 only because uh, they have backup control internet and text video is off for marketing uh, their salaries will go to the admin uh, which is admin will transfer to uh, the work, uh, workers that work under the marketing uh, marketing department also for the operation budget, uh, total is 228,211 cents. So every month we should give to the uh, production, uh, production is 11,050 ringgit. This is because they want to uh, top up with our material. Every month we will add a new material because the last one is just so, so we must add a new material to our shop. Okay, uh, I think that's a problem. Uh, oh, in fact, hold up. For the cash flow, um, we check, uh, you may check in the report because the cash flow is a little bit complicated to understand for me because I'm new in financial and the, the I don't know what to say, it's still very complicated. So you may check in the report. I have complete in the report from A to Z. I wish you a for me. Thank you.